Hey guys, today's video is going to be a book review of Cupcakes, Trinkets and Other Deadly Magic by Megan Sienna Doidge. The book follows Jade Godfrey, a Vancouverite, I may have just made that word up, who is half witch, half human, or so her grandmother and mother, who are both full witches, tell her. She mostly can't do magic herself, but she does have an aptitude for seeing, finding, and tasting it being known as a dowser. She runs a bakery specializing in cupcakes called Cake in a Cup and makes little trinkets out of bits and pieces with magical residue. She hasn't had a boyfriend in years because most normals can't hold her attention for long enough and relationships between magical people, generally known as the adept, are messy and complicated. Jade's life gets turned upside down however when a vampire comes along investigating werewolf murders and she meets the pack that the victims came from, particularly because some of Jade's trinkets are found on the deceased, meaning that she is a suspect. Jade and her foster sister Sienna are pulled headfirst into a whole new understanding of their magical world, filled with necromancers, shapeshifters and vampires, and of Jade's role in life. I read this book on the Kindle app on my phone and I really, really enjoyed it. Not only that, but when I found it, it was free on Kindle and I don't know why, but when life shows you a really cool looking free book, you take it. The world seemed massive and brilliantly mapped, if not very well defined. And as this is the first book in the trilogy, I'll let that last one slide. It was a bit exposition light, and that was the only thing that I was really annoyed about about the book, because I really wanted to know how things worked, and it did a good job of some of it, but I really wanted to know more, because there was so much that felt unexplained. How things were able to happen, things that we feel like we might have been better knowing, but mind you, Jade didn't really pay attention during her lessons, and I was really, really glad that we got a kind of sense of it. One thing that I liked about the book was that the females in the book weren't really sexualized. It was quite a refreshing change to see that, despite the fact that they were all remarked upon to be quite attractive. None of them were sexualized. However, the men, particularly Hudson and Desmond, two of the were werewolves, were quite sexualized. So it just kind of played the other way. For that. There was a particular section I liked where Hudson and another werewolf, Candy, were keeping an eye on Jade by going with her to her yoga class, but Hudson turns up shirtless and ruffles everyone's feathers in a sexy way. In fact, it's commented upon that everyone seems disappointed when he puts his shirt back on as they go to leave. I also liked that while Hudson was very clearly fridged, he was unlike many other fridges, being developed into a really cool character beforehand, and not just killed off to give angst. He was developed as a character before being killed, such as how he was the most diplomatic of the pack. There's not too much else to say about the book, it was really quite good. However, the trip plot twist about Sienna was kind of interesting because I kept on thinking, oh, it's gonna be that, and then, oh, no it wasn't, and then, oh, yes it was! Anyway guys, that's my review of this book, I hope that you remember to like and share this video if you want to, and leave a comment, and to subscribe to my channel if you would like. I will see you guys next time, bye! Hey guys, click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me, including my September New Year's resolutions update, and a quote tag that I came up with. Bye!